In this video I'm going to have a look at how a string variable can be associated with a Python TK inter label such that whenever the variable changes its contents this will be reflected in the label. Let's consider this program and let's remind ourselves of all of the lines of code. We know this one is necessary so we can use all the facilities of TK Inter. This creates an instance of a window. This creates a label and that label will be associated with this window which was created on this line. These are options or named arguments that will have an effect in this case on the appearance of the label. This will ensure that there is a border to the label and this will ensure that whatever the label displays will be times 22 bold font. This ensures that the label appears on the window defined here and this will put the application into its main loop. When this program executes what we're going to see is this. Here you can see we have the window and within the window we have the label and you can see the label in fact is there with an outline for the border and have a look inside the label and there is nothing and that's because I haven't set it to anything. I would typically put in this region text equals and I type in whatever I wanted to be displayed in the label. This program is almost identical to the program we've just considered. The difference is, if you look here, I've included another line of code. And I've chosen this name, variable underscore one, as a name of a variable. And that's been assigned this. Now what this will do, it'll create an object, a string object, a string variable. And var underscore one will be the name that's bound to that instance of a string. So var one is capable of holding a string. And this line is necessary when when we use TK enter to create a string that's going to be capable of being associated with a label. From previous work on this channel, you will be aware that I like to refer to an execution space when I look at object oriented programs. And the execution space is shown here. Now, if we go through this program one line at a time and have a look at what it does to the execution space, I'm going to start with this line here. And what will happen, it'll produce an instance of a window and that will be labeled with my underscore window because this here, this label name appears here in the code. And what we have here is an instance of a window. If we carry on to look at this line, what this will do, this is going to create an instance and the instance is shown here, i.e. an object. And this will have the label var1 because that's the variable name used here. Now this creates an instance of a label that will have the name label underscore one. Now it would be possible to show this within the execution space below, but I think it will clutter the images. So what we need to say is that this will create an object and that object will in all effect be inside this object here. Why this object? Well, this is the window and you can see we're associating this object with this instance using this word here because this is the name of the window that was created on this line as you can see here. Now when this program executes what we're going to see is this and we can see we have a window and within the window we have the label. Now this window has been represented in the execution space by this instance here with this name my window and we've said that the label which is shown here in the code was actually an instance of the label and that instance was inside this object and we can see that it is effectively inside the window as shown here. Of course we also have this instance here and this is put into the execution space because of this line of code here. It's just that there's no visual presence for this instance on the window. It just happens to exist in the execution space in its own right.
This programme shows an amendment to the one we've just considered and the amendment is shown on this line and we can see that this line is a message. Now I'll come back to what that means in a moment. When we execute this programme we know we're going to have an execution space and of course this line of code will create an instance in the execution space and that instance will be appropriately labelled. This line of code will create another instance and this one will be appropriately labelled and of course here we're going to create an instance of a label and that instance is going to appear within this object here within the instance of the window this then will pack and we'll have a visual representation of the label within the window as you can see here but of course this will have no visual representation it just exists in its own right within the execution space now what this is doing it's sending a message because we can see we have dot notation and the message is going to this object and it's going to invoke this method so if we look to the execution space we can see that I'm going to model that message as shown here and the message is going to set and what we're passing in quotes as an argument is high and of course it's going to this object because it's got the name var1 and that's the name that appeared here now when this object receives this message the object will respond by executing the set method which I'm showing here and of course the set method will simply take this string high and store it within the object at the moment this object has no link with any of the other objects in the execution space for example this label the instance of this label has no knowledge of this instance this variable that holds the string high this program shows an amendment to the one we've just discussed and the amendment is shown here and if you look it says text variable is assigned var underscore one what this entry has done what this named argument what this option has done it has linked this object to this variable so when we now perform this message here what will happen is the label will be informed internally that the variable one has been set to a value consequently the label will show that change to the value stored inside var1 so when this program executes we're going to get the execution space and this line is going to be responsible for creating an instance of the window which we can see here in the execution space appropriately labeled this is going to do something similar it's going to produce an instance that will hold a string and that too will be appropriately labeled now this is going to produce an instance of a label and this will be similar to the ones we've seen to date in this video except when we create the instance here we're going to be setting this option where text variable will be assigned var1 and it'll mean that this instance will be able to see will be able to have access to this object here so this object still exists in its own right but it now can be seen by the instance of this label so when this line of code executes which is a message to this object and we can see that message occurring here in the animation we're going to have the method within the object invoke the set method and the set method will take the high and will place it in the center of this object now the moment that happens the label one is informed and it will have its content changed from what it currently is and currently it has no text in it and what's now going to happen the text high is going to be put into that label and when we look at the runtime we're going to see this and we can see indeed the high appeared in the label let's say you have a program that performs some calculations and you wish to display the result of those calculations on a label within a window then the approach you would take is you would perform the calculations store the result in an appropriate variable make sure that that result was converted to a string you would then create a string variable as you can see here 
you would then ensure that this was effectively tied to the label using this and then on this line you would put in the brackets where here i've got high you put the name of the variable that was storing the result of the program's calculations check out the supporting website for these videos in addition why not follow me on twitter as i issue a tweet every time i upload a new video